country for almost a month. <laughs> go to Target, Mall, UPS, do a ton of returns more than I really am buying things. I'm crazy to be doing it only two days in advance. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love shopping in the men's section. Ta-da! and I'm so tired. I think the mix of this daylight savings and the fact that I have not been able to fall asleep the past couple of nights, especially last night, I think I was trying to fall asleep for like two and a half hours. I'm not even kidding you. I went through three different Peloton sleep meditations trying to fall asleep. But it's 8 a.m. We have to be up because there's a busy day today and a busy day tomorrow and a busy day Friday. And Friday I'm leaving out of the country for almost a month. I haven't really told you guys anything about that i did tell you that travels were coming up but something huge came up and i'm no longer gonna be around i think i'm gonna tell you guys in the next video i know that i hate suspense and i'm trying to watch influence just go on a trip like this is just one of those things that i have to keep a secret at the moment but i can't wait to show and tell and share with you guys but that means that for the next couple of days we're gonna be busy because there's a lot to do so this morning i'm up to get a little walk in on the treadmill i actually have a workout class that i'm going to tonight with my best friend sydney at this place called camp tam but I've never been but I bought like a one class pass to sort of try it out That's at 5 30 But I just feel like because I'm up so early I need to get my blood pumping or else I'll feel so sluggish in the morning and I don't want to consume caffeine this early in the morning So i'm gonna just do like a quick maybe 20 minute walk on the treadmill and just kind of get my blood moving and pumping And then we're gonna keep going throughout our day One of the big things I have to start to do today is my 2023 taxes Why have I put off? doing write-offs and different tax documents and things like that for my accountant until now. I don't really know. The tax season is basically happening right when I get back from my trip and like I just don't want to come back and do taxes. So it's starting today. I have to start packing today. <gasps> Yawning too much. We do have to go run some errands, like things at Target that I need for this trip. I also went to the mall the other day to go get a couple of things, and now it's just the day to return everything that didn't work. And we're gonna go see like what else we can go get Austin because he definitely needs some clothes and he is coming along. So that might not sound like a lot, but there's also some other things going on here and there and in between. So we're getting our day started bright and early, like I said. And let's head over to the gym to just get a quick walk on the treadmill. I'm just gonna go to the gym here in my building because I don't like leaving the house if I don't have to. So I'm just wearing a Lululemon set that I quickly threw on this morning. And this little jacket because for whatever reason, it's so cold in my apartment right now. And it's also cold in this building, so, or at least cold to me. I'm always cold. But enough of my rambling, let's get going for the day. It's a busy pre-travel couple of days that I'm gonna bring you guys along on. I only just did a quick 15 minute walk, but I already feel so much more energized and better. So let's get upstairs and get ready for the rest of the day. Okay, so I finished my workout. I just put on a little tennis dress from Abercrombie. Looks like this. I think it's so cute with the cutouts. And then just a little jacket, cause like I said, I'm cold. It's not cold outside, but it is cold in my apartment. I decided, okay, it's now 9.20 because I did my workout. I've been cleaning up a little bit in here. And now we're gonna have some tropical vibes. To start the vibes off good today, so much to do, but we're gonna get it all done, so cheers. It sounds silly because I know it's like every girl's dream to go to Target, but the fact that I have to go to Target, the mall, UPS, do a ton of returns more than I really am buying things. I guess at Target I am buying things, but the other stuff is more of a dreaded task, which is so silly. But we're gonna just get it done this morning and get it out of the way, so we're gonna head to Target or UPS first. I'm not really sure, but UPS or Target, and then the mall, and then we're gonna come back here and pack, 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 pack and mm, Pack. <laughs> I'm just not one of those girls that can pack a week or two weeks in advance for a trip And I feel like it's so unrealistic to expect that everybody just has time to pack a week out So packing two days out for me is like that is even a feat because I feel like usually I would pack tomorrow But the fact that we're leaving for a month It's a lot of different things to think about and I'm working with brands and different things like that So there's a lot to remember to bring so I'm gonna start it today Claps for me, claps for me, but let's go run some errands. <laughs> now I was smart and I consolidated all of my returns into this one Nordstrom bag. So this is UPS returns and mall returns all in one.
We have made it to the motherland. I was gonna get a little basket, but I think it's a cart kind of a day. Quickly back to the car because I forgot the first reason that I'm here, which is for a return. And now we're gonna get to go shopping. Today's goal at Target, we need things like shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, stuff like that. And also I'm in the men's section at the moment because I'm looking for a few last minute clothes for Austin. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love shopping in the men's section. Maybe it's because I finally have a guy to shop for. I don't know what it is, but I love looking at the men's clothes and I think I found him a lot of good pieces. We'll have to see at the end, like if they all are gonna work. Then I might sneak him in one more bathing suit. So let's go to the bathing suit section of the men's and then we gotta go for what we actually came here for which is more essentials okay men's swimsuit section there are so many cute ones i'm really loving these these look like they're chubbies but they are only 25 dollars. so i think i'm gonna go for these but they've also got like so many fun tropical ones look at the bird on that one i also think these ones are so fun even though they're bright yellow they've got little palm trees all over them i think we definitely gotta go for these i don't know what size he is so we're gonna have to look. Oh no. Oh no, they got one. Okay, look at these cute little Joy Lab coordinating sets. I need to go away. I need to go away. I need to steer clear of the women's section. Okay, I think I really lucked out in the men's section. Look at how much stuff I have in this pile for him. I am very excited to bring these home. Okay, now time for all of the essentials. We're just looking for things on the list at this point. I knew I wanted to get stuff for Austin and help him out, but now we gotta go get the things like shampoo and deodorant. I have also raided the candy section since we will be for Easter, so I got some little Easter bunny chocolates, some nerd gummy cluster Easter, some nerd jelly beans, because these are the only jelly beans I like and that I'll eat, and then I just got some regular clusters. These berry clouds are so good. And then peach rings are Austin's favorite. I didn't see the brand that he likes, but this is the Target brand. And now I'm in the game aisle. I just wanted to pick up a game since we're gonna be having a lot of downtime some days. And I found this one called the couples game that's actually fun. And I think maybe this could be just like a cute bonding moment for us. So we're gonna get that too. And now I gotta get out of here before I spend any more money. Also, while I was on my way over here, I did stop by the bikini section and I picked this one up because I can't resist. This is like an Elle Woods bikini. Come on. Okay, so other than that, we're ready to go. Well, I would say that that was a pretty successful Target run. I got a bunch of stuff for Austin. I got stuff for myself, some fun stuff, but also the essentials like my shampoo, deodorant, etc. Spent a little too much time in there. It's now 11 o'clock. We got to run to the UPS store to do all of the rest of the returns and then to the mall to do even more returns. The goal is to not buy any more today and to just return, 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 and then return home and start to pack. I am going to do a pack with me vlog. This is more of just prepping for going going out of the country for an entire month. I'm crazy to be doing it only two days in advance, but I've been like scounging up little things as time has gone on. But now that it's like the two day countdown, can't even believe I'm saying that, but the two day countdown, things are getting real. So let's head off to the UPS store and get this stuff returned. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my little happy return, which is a pair of pants that didn't fit because I was too short for them. And I have a couple of Amazon things in the back seat, just stuff that didn't end up working out. I'm gonna go drop off at this UPS store and then we're gonna head to the mall. Okay, done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and now we are going to the mall for returns only. Look at this parking spot I managed to snag. I am one happy camper. I guess a Wednesday morning was a great idea because the mall looks empty. You cannot tell me that this is not the best smell ever in the mall. It makes me want an anti in every time I pass. They know what they're doing there, but we're on a mission tonight. Two stores down, two to go. An absolute roaring success if I have ever been a part of one because I did not spend a single dollar at the mall. I return 
everything and I just kept the Nordstrom bag because I had some little receipts in there and that's where I threw my sweatshirt but seriously did not buy one thing and I'm so proud like not that I really needed anything but the mall can be very tempting so it's now 1209 I'm gonna head home I technically do need to go to the bank at some point to get smaller bills but I don't think there's a bank around here and I'm just kind of ready to be home I have a workout class tonight with Sydney at 5 30 so I'm thinking that maybe I will just go to the bank before I go to to the workout class because there's a Wells Fargo Advisors but not a bank and I don't think I'm gonna be going anywhere near where one of these ones are let me see Yep, I'm not going anywhere near a bank, so I'm not gonna go out of the way right now because I do have two more days to go do things and I will get it done before we leave. But I am going to head back home, eat some lunch, start packing and just really get into it. Get into it, really get into it. Okay. Alrighty, I'm back home. I've brought everything up. I just pulled out a leftover salad out of the fridge and revamped it a little by adding chickpeas and avocado and some goat cheese. So I'm gonna have this salad for lunch and start to look over at my tax stuff, which honestly it has a little bit to do with me leaving because I like to do it on my Big Mac and I won't be having this screen with me. So I wanna do it now. And also by the time I get back from my trip, I don't wanna do it in like the couple of days I have to scram before all all of that so I'm gonna sit here do my lunch do a little bit of my taxes and put everything into spreadsheets and things like that and then the packing comes have I mentioned I hate doing the spreadsheets for tax stuff um, yeah self-employment taxes are crazy anyway long story I have decided that right here is where I'm gonna be setting all of the clothes that are going to be maybe packed up so this is part of my getting ready to pack with me so like pack with me is gonna be more of here's what I'm packing how I'm packing it etc and then in this video like obviously I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to get ready like running all these errands and things but I'm also gonna start setting out clothes that will be packed in the pack with me I figured this would be a good place to do it so that it is not in the way of everything and then it's kind of all in one place so I'm gonna clear off this table and the runner and start to stack some clothes out here off this table because it was a little dirty so now I'm just gonna bring out some clothes and set it on here I'll just like fast motion myself but this is my favorite way I've been stockpiling clothes that have come in so that is what's gonna get set out here Okay, so I'm gonna sign off of this vlog for a little bit because I am gonna start filming my pack with me video today. That will be out after this vlog. So make sure that you're subscribed down below so that you don't miss that video or any of the travels to come after it. I will see you guys once I'm done starting my packing. The pack with me video is going very well. I have a ton of stuff over here, ready to go, getting ready to go. And the packing's just gonna continue tomorrow and a little bit into the next day. But now it's kind of the end of that pack with me video at least for today and we are back to our daily vlog of still prepping to go on a trip. One thing I like to do is obviously continue my fitness journey. I only did a super short 15 minute little walk this morning to get my blood pumping because right now I'm about to head off to a 530 full sculpt class at Camp Tampa. I've never tried this. I've never done this. I just bought a one class pass. My best friend Cindy goes there. She's going and so we're going to meet up and have like a little bonding time before I leave for the month because I will be able to see her tomorrow on the next day which is so sad so this is our way of like saying goodbye to each other and having one last time to kind of hang out get a little sweat on with each other so I just changed into a sports bra and leggings these are the align dupes but they're the Amazon version and then just put on that same jacket I've been wearing all day today and my hair is up so we are going to head to this sculpt class I'm hoping it's kind of like a floor version of Pilates I'm not 100% sure but this is the look same sneakers as earlier I'm hoping it's a barefoot class. I have no idea. I have no clue anything about it. I don't even know if I need to bring a yoga mat or anything. So I'm going to fill my water and get ready to go to this class. Okay, this is one of the buildings. Look how cute it is in here. It's just so aesthetically pleasing. I love it. So we're not going to have our phones inside the place, but I just had to take mascara off underneath my eyes because I was sweating so much. 
It was a crazy class. I'm back from the workout, stopped at Publix on the way back, picked up a rotisserie chicken. I had this rice from Trader Joe's. It's like the little freezer bag. And then picked up an air fryer veggie kit from Publix. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. I made a little bowl for Austin too. I just was craving something a little bit lighter and I just felt like this came together so fast, so quick, cause just throw these in the air fryer, cut this up, put this in the microwave. It's a perfect dinner. I'm honestly proud of myself because my groceries were $20 and that paid for dinner, which we ate all of tonight with a little bit of leftover rotisserie chicken that I can have tomorrow. Got some egg bites and a bell pepper because I randomly was wanting it. But my goal before I go on a trip is to not waste food. So I've like been avoiding buying foods. I'm proud of myself that what I bought is going to last us just until we leave. And now I am settling in for the night, gonna read my book, gonna chill out, and I will see you guys in the morning for prep part two. Good morning, I'm running a little bit late this morning it's 9 41 I have an appointment at 10 a.m. but we are gonna continue this vlog because part of my travel preparation is doing all the maintenance doing all the beauty gonna go get my nails done today gonna get my toes done today and actually it is just due time for this my hair is greasy so you can't exactly tell but it's just due time to get a little trim and a little bit brighter in my hair so first we are headed to a hair salon I'm going to be trying out a new hairstylist which if you guys know me get very nervous about this kind of stuff because I had one sort of uh, experience in Tampa already before with somebody else and other than that I've only let the same lady touch my hair for the rest of my life so it's definitely been an adjustment for me moving here um, I can't just really go home four hours or eight hours round trip to get my hair done and unfortunately this time around I literally just didn't have time to go home or else I would just be like oh I'm gonna go home for the weekend I'm just gonna happen to get my hair done while I'm over there but no we're trying a new hair salon she was recommended to me by my friend Sydney who got her hair done with her so we're gonna see but let's get going okay we're here Here's the before. You can definitely tell I just need some brightening. Here's about the length and a pony. I'm so nervous, but I think I'm gonna vlog on my phone to not like intimidate her with my camera when I first walk in. I don't even know this lady. So I'm gonna just film anything that I do on my phone. I think I'm also gonna make maybe a TikTok about this. So we'll see, but here we go. Okay, we talked it through. I'm feeling very good. Here we go. We're marinating. Ta-da! I wanted to wait to film this part until I got back in the car and had my camera, but I am so pleasantly surprised. I was so, so nervous just because of all kinds of things, but I just brightened it up just a little bit and ready to go on the trip. This is like pre-trip planning. The next step is going to the bank to go get some change. I like to have change to tip people for excursions, for tours, bartenders, wait staff, everybody. So the plan is to go get some change and then head over to my nail appointment we're going with something a little more neutral and my toes are in horrendous shape the last time I got my toes done was before I left for the Maldives um so yeah it's been a while but I get gel on my toes so it lasts for forever and it's kind of just due time they're not that terrible but um, I'm not going much longer with them like this the nails and toes are next but we have a little bit of time before that appointment so I'm gonna run to the bank which is on the way to the appointment and then we're gonna go get nails and toes done okay so it was the most successful bank trip I have ever had I went in there we're going to go get changed for some money so we could have money for tips like I was talking about and the girl was like do you know that you can be getting a better rate on your savings account and basically I sat down with these two bankers and they upgraded all of my Wells Fargo accounts things I never would have known if I didn't walk into a bank today I'm pretty good about my money and knowing what's going on in my bank account but I feel like that was just one thing where I was like okay this is great and they put it on there that I was going out of town and and everything we talked through so if you are a Wells Fargo customer and you haven't been in the store recently or been in a branch I guess not the store go check it out because I'm getting better rates and better benefits on everything throughout my Wells Fargo accounts. I literally haven't really touched them since I was like 19 years old and still in college. So 10 out of 10 recommend. It was very successful. I was like, thank you guys so much because I never would have known. So this is your sign to go check it out if you need it. I don't know if other banks are doing kind of like promotional stuff right now, but at least if you have Wells Fargo, would recommend. Now I'm here at the nail salon. It's by this place called Green and Berry. Oh my goodness, they have great acai bowls. But I just snacked on a protein bar to be honest because I didn't have time to stop for lunch but we're here at heavenly nails which is where i get my nails done in tampa and we're gonna go get my nails and toes done so let's go they actually have nine million colors here so good <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that was a success at the nail salon. I got OPI, put it in neutral on my fingernails. I feel like this is such a good neutral color and especially because I'm not gonna really be able to get my nails done for another month. I wanted them to be able to grow out and not be so noticeable. And then I got, I think it's called Stop It I'm Blushing from OPI on my toes in the gel. And it is the perfect chef's kiss spring pink if you keep getting bubble bath you should definitely try that opi color stop it i'm blushing it's so so good no feet for free but it is amazing and now i'm kind of done with errands for the day i need to go back home and pack 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 some more and film a couple of things that i want to film for you guys for like tiktok and instagram reels in regards to packing so time to go home and get some more work done but it's three o'clock and i feel like we've done pretty good with our day considering the errands that needed to be done or the maintenance not really errands so yeah i'm gonna head home I'm about 15 minutes from home, so I'm gonna listen to some country music on the drive. As far as prepping for the trip goes, we leave today. So this is the end of this vlog. You guys will have to watch the Pack With Me vlog to see how the heck I get all the stuff that I have out here right now into two suitcases with 50 pounds each. I'm not sure, but anyway, I have packed and prepped. My nails are done, my hair is done, the clothes are all laid out. I've run all my errands, I've done all my UPS returns, all the laundry has been done. So many different things that caused me to prepare for going on vacation. If you have any more travel tips or getting ready tips to go on vacation, leave them down below, let everybody know. I'm sure they'd be just as interested as I am. I love you guys and until we get to the pack with me video or any videos from this trip, make sure that you subscribe down below so that you do not miss them. You can also follow me on all my other social medias. Those will be up to date way more than YouTube just because it's way easier to like edit and post on there but I still will be on here too so just make sure you do it all I love you guys so much if nobody has told you today I'm so proud of you and being an overpacker is not a bad thing <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one